guys welcome to my channel you are watching how to fix stack in this video we are going to fix this issue you can see on the display your PC ran into a problem and needs to restart so there are mainly four reasons behind this error the first one is certain hardware changes if you have changed RAM or hard disk you may get this issue as well the second one is Windows corruption if Windows file are corrupted you are going to get this error as well and the third one is overheating of the system okay if your system is overheating and not proper ventilation you are going to get this error as well and the fourth one is incompatible software you have installed or the incompatible windows installation you have on your windows okay whatever error code you are getting we are going to fix this issue in this video okay so first you need to shut down your system two to three times as soon as the manufacturer logo appears I will show you how to shut down your system forcefully okay this is a power button you need to turn it on as soon as the manufacturer logo appears you need to shut it down okay now the manufacturer logo now window loads hold the power key for almost 10 to 15 seconds now release it okay it's properly shut down now again turn it on again repeat the same process let it load windows now window is loading now you need to shut it down now window is shut down properly now turn it on again and if you get the please wait screen it means that we are going to fix this issue no we need to again shut it down three times still okay now the fourth time you should get the please wait or diagnosing your PC let's see okay now you can see it is uh, going to scan sub so we need to press escape key now you can see automatic preparing automatic repair so hold now don't do anything now you need to just wait and wait for the load to complete this process diagnosing your PC let it diagnose this method is for users who cannot access their PC and for those who can easily access their PC they can easily hold the shift key and click on restart then you will get the advanced screen options we are going to get the advanced screen options and we will troubleshoot the errors so this is the screen which we wanted now whatever option you are getting your PC did not start correctly automatic repair could not repair your PC okay you need to click on advanced options and from here we can troubleshoot our windows click on troubleshoot click on advanced options and now you will see here the six options first we will try the command prompt click on command prompt and we will repair the windows corruption with some commands choose your username here you need to choose here the admin user here now you need to type here the command sfc space slash scan now sfc stands for system file checker which will scan all the corruption inside your windows and repair those now wait for the process to complete it will go to 100 percent okay the command completed now you need to exit out from the command and you can simply click on exit and continue to windows 10 or 11 if your problem is fixed then well and good if not we need to troubleshoot second step we are going to boot our system into the safe mode and then we will perform some steps from there click on advanced options troubleshoot advanced options okay from here you need to click on this option startup setting and you need to restart your system into the safe mode we need to click on this option restart 
you need to press F4 or 4 key on your keyboard I am going to press 4 key you can also press F4 or 4 both will work our system is going into the safe mode put the password here now from here we need to go to the control panel open control panel and click on here the view icons then the select here the large icons okay once you click on that click on programs and features okay click on install on and choose the latest software which is causing the issue you need to select the software right click on that click on uninstall and simply uninstall the problematic software from your windows and after that click on view install updates and if the installation is corrupted windows you can also get this now you need you can click on this option install on once you click on that you need to select the date wise updates and right click on that you can also choose that update security update from microsoft windows you can see and click on uninstall just click on uninstall and uninstall after that exit out from the safe mode and click on restart and your issue will be fixed the issue has been fixed now if your issue is fixed then well and good if not you need to hold the shift key like this and click on restart and hold the shift key until you get the automatic repair screen okay like this and if you are not able to boot you can repeat the process repeat the process shut down your system two to three times okay you need to click on troubleshoot advanced options and if you have create a system restore point that is going to be fix your issue click on system restore you need to select here the admin user from here now you can see click on next and select the date click on next and click on finish and click on yes button i have made the system restore point that you have not made you are getting this error red error so you cannot proceed this error so you need to click on next and if you have made it so click on next and your system is going to restore in a back days and if you have don't created that you need to click on troubleshoot and you can also reset your pc if this issue is occurring many times you can also re reset your pc keep my files or remove everything and choose also that but we are going to fix this issue without the reset click on advanced options command prompt and we are going to fix the hard disk related issues with bad sectors and the corrupted hard disk you need to type for the chkdsk space slash f space slash r space and then the operating system where the windows is installed the drive letter you need to type here it is c and then colon and hit enter once you hit enter it will go to five stages so i'm pausing this video and i will show you once the this process is done you need to have patience and you need to wait for the process to complete this is very powerful command this will scan the bed sectors and corrupted hard disk and will repair automatically now stage 5 is going on looking for bed sectors and the free clusters Okay, now so this command is completed now and it has scanned many errors as well as repair automatically we need to click on this option cut button and click on exit and continue with windows 10 so hope your issue is fixed now if your issue is fixed then hit like subscribe and share if your issue is still not fixed you can reinstall the windows whichever windows you are using or check your hardware